Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We're going to look at how to import, organize, and export Adobe Motion Graphics templates in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Things that are important to cover. First of all, this is the new future of motion graphics in Premiere Pro. The old ass titler is going to go away. And these are called motion graphics templates. And the short name is a Mogurt, like yogurt. Mogurts can be created in Premiere Pro or in After Effects. They're used in the timeline in Premiere Pro and they're one object with all the animation and the fonts and the graphics and even imported videos, everything inside one package. That's great. If you know the old title designer, you could design graphics, but you couldn't animate it. And it was a real pain in the butt. So this one, we're in this tutorial, we're only looking at um, importing, exporting, organizing. In future tutorials, we're going to look at creating your own uh, Mogurts, animating Mogurts, creating rolling credits, animated bullet points. Boy, it's, it's so much easier it, with Mogurts now to create animated bullet points. How about a brand new typewriter effect? Karaoke lyrics that are so much easier, animated social media icons. I've got examples coming up in the future where I use it for text bubbles and thought bubbles and all the cool things that you wanna make in your video to make your stuff look really new and, and original. And then we'll also cover creating them in After Effects and why they're so freaking powerful in After Effects. Way more powerful than Premiere Pro, but you can still do a lot in Premiere Pro and that's what I'm gonna show you. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is that you can't convert your old titles. So if you've created a whole bunch of titles, like me, uh, guess what? You gotta start again. There's no easy copy, paste, or move. You have to draw them all again from scratch. Now, if you don't like drawing them, there's a ton of free built-in uh, templates that you can use right away, and you can even tweak them. Let's have a look. In Premiere Pro, the first thing to do is to go to the graphics workspace. That's right up here at the top. If you click on it and it does not look like this, you can double click on the graphics workspace name in the newest version of Premiere Pro and it will reset or go to the window menu, workspace, reset to saved layout. And there's also a keyboard shortcut for it. It brings up the new essential graphics panel on the right hand side. And you can see there's two sections, my templates and even Adobe Stock. So if you wanted to get started, you could jump to Adobe Stock, click on the free one, and look at this, a bunch of cool free Mogurts ready for you to use. And of course, you can look at some of the premium ones created by some of the best designers out there. These are created either in Premiere Pro or in After Effects. They cover modern titles, weddings, films, crazy animations, lots of really cool things. You'll notice back in my templates, there are two locations, local templates folder and libraries. If I click on the local templates folder, this is essentially the templates that Adobe gives you. So a bunch of uh, lower thirds and titles, captions, and some interesting motion graphics. And they're sitting here ready to go. The libraries, if we look at those, these are your libraries that you've created. And you can see I've got several here. In fact, I, I have one for the show that I will open up and I can drag in any of these graphics here. I also want to show you in the newest version of Premiere Pro, you can now include an animation in the title preview. So if I move my mouse here, you can see these titles are animating. Gives you a little bit better of an idea of how these titles will play out. You can search for titles here. So if I type in third, I'm looking at all my lower thirds. Um, you can also star these. So if there's one that you end up using quite a bit, you can star that. So I'll click on this. And then when I click on the star, that one comes up. So if I want to use that, I just drag that to one of my video layers. And I now have that graphic. And you can see that shows up 
right there. You'll also notice on the left-hand side in the bin, there is no title here. The title is here, but it's not in the bin. That's something to get used to, but it is very important and powerful because I don't have to give you my project and my title. I give you my project. The title is inside there already. I like that. You can update these and change these any way you want. And there's also something we will be looking at in the future. And that you'll notice are these gray areas here for the animation. So there's an intro and an outro, and that's called responsive design. That means if I change the duration of this title, I don't have to change the keyframes. The keyframe for the intro and the keyframe for the outro are the same. The middle is just longer. Wow, wow, wow. This is brilliant and important. And if you've ever done any kind of creation of titles and you ever wanted to extend the middle part, part you know that you had to go and grab all the keyframes at the end of the animation and move them and then extend the title. Responsive design means that's eliminated. Drop in a title, drag it out. If you're new to creating titles and you, you don't even know what this is, then just be happy you're living in a world with res responsive design. Okay, let's say that we do want to make a change in here. So I'm going to hold the Alt key on Windows, Option on Mac, and duplicate this because I want two different titles. In the second title here, I'm going to insert my name. So I'll just double click on that and type my name and then my title here. And I'll just type in video revealed. So now I have a new title and maybe I want video revealed to be a different color. Like I said, I'll have a, a, a full separate tutorial on creation of these, but I just wanna show you updating these um, a little bit. So now I've got two titles and I've got nothing in my project bin. I wanna drag in one more title here just to show you again another difference. I'm gonna turn off my search features and just type in news. And I'll drag this news title down here. This news title happens to be an After Effects Mogurt. It takes a, a couple seconds to finally show up, but when we play this back, you'll see we get a 3D globe. So if you look over in the Essential Graphics panel, you'll see something different. So I'll call this, instead of Adobe News, we'll call this Video Revealed News. And you'll see the text changes and the graphics enlarges. There's more choices down here like color. I can completely change the color that I'm using for this graphic. So instead of that red, it's something different. I could change the rotation speed of that globe. I can change the longitude and latitude, maybe make this a little bit darker um, so you can see it a little easier. I can change that globe because a lot of times these graphics are created in a, in a Western uh, North American centric kind of world. And maybe if you're from Australia, um, that you actually want this globe flipped around. Well, the person that created this particular Mogurt thought about that and gave you controls here to change the longitude, latitude, and the angle offset. So you can pick exactly where that globe is while it's spinning around. So I'll go back and I'll click on this Mogurt and show you it looks different than this one. This is the After Effects Mogurt that has custom uh, controls. I will have a separate tutorial on creating Mogurts and After Effects. They are incredibly powerful. They're also a little bit uh, harder to play back because they're, they're After Effects comps. So they're a little bit slower. And of course I could render this out. That's why I tend to use as much as possible Premiere Pro Mogurts because they play back in real time uh, very easily. Let's get back to organizing these. So we've got three of these here. So I wanna change this to something a little bit brighter just so we can see it. Okay, so I've got no graphics over here in the bin except for this motion graphics template, which is the After Effects comp. So the After Effects Mogurt requires the After Effects comp to come in. 
if I delete this After Effects comp here, it does not delete the assets over here on the left-hand side. So you do need to keep that in mind. So my first rule is anytime I've tweaked a graphic and I wanna reuse that graphic and maybe I've built something completely from scratch, the very first thing I do is I'm gonna save that and back that up locally. And you can do that by clicking on the Mogurt, right clicking and choosing export as motion graphics template or in the graphics menu, export as motion graphics template. This brings up a dialog box uh, where we can save this and I'm gonna call this my new title, red, and you can pick where you're saving this. I can save this to the local templates folder. We'll actually place it over here in the browse menu that you'll, you'll see for local templates. I can save it to the drive or any of my libraries. And the first thing I do, as I said, I'm gonna back that up to my local drive. I can include a video thumbnail. By default, if you have animation, and this one does have animation, when you look at this back in the Essential Graphics panel and you don't turn on Include Thumbnail, it won't have a video thumbnail. I don't really need to have that. I would maybe do that if I was sharing these or selling these to someone. I would want somebody to see that, that it actually had animation, but for my own use, I know I'm animating these. It can warn me if I need, if I'm using fonts that are not in uh, the type kit and effects that are not part of Premiere Pro. I'm just, and I can add any keywords into this right now. So let me add Colin for this, click OK. And there's my new red title. That's the Mogurt. It's actually only 35 kilobytes in size. It's tiny. I could back this up over to my Creative Cloud files, over to Dropbox, OneDrive, wherever I want. I'm going to delete it from my timeline and show you how we can import. So in the graphics menu, we can choose to install a motion graphics template. In the browse essential graphics down at the bottom, you can also click here to install a motion graphics template. So I'm gonna click on the one I just brought in. It does not show up in the bin doesn't show up in the timeline, it shows up over here on the right hand side. So remember I've got, I'm searching for news right now. So if I search for Colin, because I choose, I added that keyword, there's my new title. Now I can drag that in and place that directly here. There's my new title. All right, here's my recommendation. If you looked at the Essential Graphics panel in the previous versions, it was based on folders. The new design is not based on folders. I tend to have a lot of uh, titles that I need to get right away, and I have them already in libraries. So I've got a, a separate tutorial on creating libraries, and I think libraries are a great way to work with motion graphics templates. So let's go have a look at that. So instead of searching for my local files in libraries, if I go to Mogerts, I can search for my Mogerts here. Well, let's go put that title that I just created. If I right click on that, I can copy that to my Mogerts library. I can even delete it from here. So now when I go to my Mogert's library, there's my new red title here. I still find this a little bit cumbersome because if I go to my video revealed library, I'm actually looking at both of these. And some people like this, I'll show you what I do. In my libraries panel, where if you don't see it down here, look for it in the window menu. If you drag the name libraries over to the essential graphics panel and make sure the blue is in the center, not to the side or the top, make sure it's in the center, it will create a new tab over here. Oh, look at this, this is beautiful. Now when I wanna to go to my video revealed panel, 
everything is there. Now, there are still a lot of other graphics in here. So this is a library, it's not just for Mogerts, but if you collapse this down to just motion graphics templates, there they are. So from here, I can drag in any of these motion graphics templates. Here's the special title that I have created. And I've been using this for a while. This is a Mogert that I created. And you can see it grows over on the left-hand side, pops up, holds up on the screen, and then goes away. One which you'll see in a second, which is my PayPal donation. It pops up on the screen, opens up, and it pops out and goes away. So it's an easy way for me to get to all of these over on the right-hand side. All right, so that's for you, JK, JK, you and me both. Uh, we're, we, we like these organized folders. I don't like searching and I don't like starring things and finding it in a giant long list of graphics. I know everything I need for my video revealed show is in my video revealed Mogert's library. All right, there you go. Hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to video revealed, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us a little bit more? We're making it very easy by allowing you to choose PayPal, credit card or debit card there's a link in the description of this tutorial. Uh, there's also a link on the front page of this channel. All right, as I said, this is just the organizing, importing, and exporting of uh, Mogerts. We're going to look at creating them, animating, creating a new um, uh, typewriter effect, karaoke style lyrics, bullet points. You're gonna be so happy that um, you're using the new Mogerts because they're way better than the old one. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you in the